Okay, in this video, guys, um, I want to show you how to properly uh, shade in an area model to represent fraction multiplication. So, to the left, we see we have a fraction multiplication problem three fourths times one third. Another way of thinking about this is we're going to find three fourths of one third. And we're going to shade in this model to the left here to help us do that. So uh, one important thing to keep in mind is this whole quadrilateral here. Uh, this whole rectangle is representing one whole, okay, as in the number one. Uh, and it's been divided into boxes. And uh, we need to be able to make sense out of the picture here in order to properly model uh, the multiplication of these two fractions. So if we, if we look at our um, fraction one-third here, um, and then we, we, we look at one-third and, the, um, and then we, we pay attention to our model here, we can see that um, our model has actually been divided into thirds um, if we look at it uh, from a vertical perspective. Um, so there's actually uh, one, two, uh, three sections that have been divided um, into this, um, this hole here. So um, we're going to look at our one-third, and uh, we're going to note that we have three sections that have been divided into this hole, and we're going to just shade one-third of those three sections. So I'm just going to shade in one-third, so just one of those three sections. And so now we have one-third. Um, and so now we have to um, pay attention to this three-fourths over here. And let's go ahead and make that three-fourths. We're going to circle it in red. How about that? So now we're going to need to find three-fourths of the one-third. So if we look at our hole, and remember that this whole quadrilateral here is representing one, and when we looked at it from a vertical perspective, we saw that there were three columns, and we shaded one of those columns in to represent one-third. But now we're going to take a look at these horizontal rows here, and we see that those rows have divided the whole into four sections. And so if we just focus on the one-third here, we just focus on the one third. I want to find three fourths of that one third. Well, that one third has been divided into one, two, three, uh, four equal pieces. And so three fourths of that one third would just be three of those pieces. So I'm going to color in. three of my fourths here. And you guys will be able to do a much better job on a piece of paper with some crayons or some colored pencils. But I hope you get the idea So I found three fourths of uh, one third. And so in Finding the, the product of three-fourths times one-third, I look at my model and I say, all right, well, how many pieces have been colored over twice? I have three pieces that have been colored over twice, so that's going to be the numerator of my product. And then the denominator is going to be the total number of sections or pieces of my whole. Um, so I actually have twelve 
12 total pieces or sections. So that's going to be uh, the denominator. So the answer or the product of 3 fourths times 1 third is 3 twelfths. And um, hopefully the model kind of proves why uh, 3 fourths times 1 third really is 3 twelfths.